Hello YouTube, this is Phantom Roy, and welcome to round two of Madden Madness. In this tournament, it's win or go home and anything can happen. It's an NFC matchup today in Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts, home of the Patriots. So who you got in this one? Let us know in the comments below before the game, and subscribe to follow the action as it happens. So without further ado, it's the Redskins, it's the Cowboys, it's Mad Madness, and it's time to get going. Seems that Redskins will get the ball to start the game, which means that Dallas will get the ball first to start the second half. And we're underway. Breland's going to run it out. And bad decision to start the game as he'll lose three yards on the decision. So here comes Kirk Cousins. Probably his last season as a Redskin. Well, obviously. He will be a free agent. For the taking and by the time you guys see this he'll be snatched up so will it be with the Vikings the Broncos the Jets the Browns who knows but right now he's a Redskin so on the field he is as he lines up in the eye Cousins to P Ryan who gets about four on the carry. And the Redskins beat the Giants in a stalemate that turned into a shootout in the last two minutes of the game in their last matchup. They won that game 10 to seven. Until the final two minutes of that game, the Redskins were only able to muster a field goal, so in order to win today, they definitely have to start sooner and stronger. Here are receivers for Cousins, who gets a handoff to P. Ryan, and P. Ryan gets about four. As for the Cowboys, they upset the Eagles in their last game, winning 10 or 16 to 10 in overtime. The Cowboys were clutch late, but got themselves in trouble with a near fatal turnover. In order to win today, there has to be no turnovers, and the offense needs to be better on third down. They only went two for eight on third down in their last game, so both teams need to do better on offense. Cousins on third and three is going to throw. Deep, and he's got Doxson. First throw of the game is good for 37, moves the chains, and Washington's in field goal range. Excellent diving catch by Doxson. If he didn't dive for that ball, that ball would have definitely been intercepted. Three receivers, Cousins under center. Cousins to P. Ryan again, up the gut. He's got about five. So two fours and a five for his first three carries. And Dallas's defense really needs to find a way to stop him here and minimize the, the damage. They're showing blitz. Fake. Cousins. The defense finds him, and he's taken down for a sack. It's Hitchens. That brings up third and 13. This will be the Redskins' second attempt to convert on third down of the game. 
and Hitchens just came unblocked, essentially. Nobody could lock down on him. And Cousins paid the price. So third and 13 in field goal range, though not the easiest field goal in the world. We'll see if Washington goes for it all or just tries to get an easier field goal attempt. Three receivers, bounce set, Cousins in the shotgun, Cousins. Dumps it off to Thompson, who has to dive to make the catch, and that's going to cost him yardage. He might have had the first if he was able to catch that in stride. But instead, it's only a gain of three, and that brings up fourth and ten. And that was really Cousins' fault. Should have been a little bit more accurate with the throw, and you might have gotten into that fourth and one, fourth and inches, or maybe a first down with that dump off. So the Cowboys, after giving up the huge play, stop the bleeding. Two, and they hold them to only a field goal attempt. Kicks away and nearly blocked. Balls through the uprights, and the field goal's good. Washington takes the lead by three. Close. So Washington should be a little bit disappointed by their performance towards the end of that drive. We'll see what they can do next time they come out, but for now, Dallas is going to get a chance to match the field goal attempt. Or the field goal, I should say. And the kick's away. Caught by Switzer. Takes the knee and the free 25. And here comes Dak Prescott. No touchdowns in their last game, but no interceptions either. He did have a costly fumble, though. We'll see if he can't do better in this game. And the Cowboys will break huddle. Prescott under center showing run. And what a surprise it is a run. It's Elliott. And Elliott takes a big hit on his first carry. But he gets nine yards. So you get what you pay for. Second and one now, and Dallas has a, has a uh, decision to make. They can either go for the deep bomb or just try and get the first. For now, they're showing blitz are the Redskins, expecting run. Prescott out of the eye. It has a run to Elliott. And Elliott runs away from the blitz, dodges a couple defenders, and gets a pretty good gain. And that's going to make him have 22 yards on the day already after two rushes. I don't know if the if it was lucky that the run was to the left away from the blitz, or if Prescott saw it coming and directed it, directed traffic himself. Either way, Cowboys in your midfield. Running formation for the offense. Prescott under center. Prescott to Morris, the backup runner, who's tackled down for maybe a gain of two. We'll see after we show you the Cowboys' offense. Best offensive line in the league still. Des Bryant, Alfred Morris, Elliott, Witten. 
And the Cowboys only finished 9-7 and seven last year, but that's coming off of a 13-3 and three season, so definitely a disappointment. But they have an obvious excuse, right? The fact that Elliott was gone for, he missed six games. Here comes Morris again. So back-to-back -back rushes for Morris, who goes nowhere. And that sets up a third and ten. Redskins showing blitz, but the ball won't get snapped. That takes us to the end of the first. So pretty quick first. Score is three zip. Redskins lead. now start of the second quarter as we get ready for this third and ten this will be Dallas's first third down attempt of the game third and ten we'll see what Prescott can do as they will likely pass here and they will come out four wide Elliott to Prescott's left Prescott steps up in the pocket he's scrambling slides down I think he's short they're gonna say he's got only nine yards and that's gonna set up a fourth and one and for the man who fumbled last game against the Eagles that's a pretty good decision by Prescott don't take an unnecessary hit and chance giving up a fumble that could ultimately put you down ten points Instead, just slide and kick it and make, a, make the offense work for it. And Chris Jones is back to punt. Jones kicks it. It's going out of bounds. And it's just barely better than a touchback as the ball sails out at the 19-yard line. And here come the Redskins, who had a pretty good offensive showing, although they only had, were able to get three points. They definitely want to see if they can fix that, turn that three into a seven. Three wide. Cousins under center. Hands to P. Ryan. He's blown up in the backfield. Loss of one on the play. And that's what happens when you let a man come free. So 30 seconds on the play clock now as Washington tries to figure out their next move behind schedule at 2nd and 11. They break huddle. 3 wide. Cousins will throw. Dumps it off to P. Ryan who cuts up field. Bulldozes a defender before he gets bulldozed himself. But it's too late. He's already got the first. 11 yards for Samaje P. Ryan. And when he did this little stop here I, I thought he was uh just gonna take the hit I thought he was making a huge mistake but he just wanted to set up to <laughs> set the square up with the uh, cowboy and knock his butt into the turf look at that that's gonna hurt in the morning gotta remind you no injuries in mad madness so impossible for him to get a concussion Four wide, Cousins to P. Ryan, who slips forward, stumbles. For a gain of three, they'll call it. Second and seven. 
for Washington. Three wide receivers for Cousins. He throws and hits his man, but the receiver drops it, and that causes Cousins' first incompletion of the game. And Cousins know that, or knows that, he kind of messed up. <clears throat> the Redskins are in trouble now. Missed a big opportunity there. Third and seven now for the Redskins. This is already their third attempt of the game. They were two for five against the Giants. So one for two, trying to make it two for three. Cousins comes out under center. Cousins. Ball's broken up and complete. And that's going to force a punt. So Washington is following in the footsteps that they laid down against the Giants so far. Caught by Way, and Way just barely gets it away. And he's just lucky to get it away. He'll take that touchback. Seemed that he caught the ball kind of strangely. Took him too long to get set. Could have been a huge mistake. But instead, Washington survives. And the defense will come out now to meet Dallas's offense. Number four there. The successor to Tony Romo. And obviously Cowboys fans will stand behind him. But it's pretty clear that when you take Ezekiel Elliott out of the equation, Prescott's not the same. But Elliott's in this game, and... That's what Elliott can do. Makes a man miss, and Ezekiel Elliott, 30, 20, 10. Touchdown, Dallas. And that's what Elliott can do. Break big runs. And when Elliott's breaking big runs, Prescott doesn't have to do much. Just hand the ball off. So Dallas, after falling down 0-3, takes a four-point lead. Or what will likely be a four-point lead. Kicks away. And it's good. So four-point game. One play, 80 yards. That's a pretty good uh, recipe for success. So Washington now is going to have to figure out a way to get down the field and try and match the Cowboys for the lead. Just under four minutes to play here in the second quarter. And Breland will stand in the end zone, waiting to kick. Kicks away. Caught at the 1 by Breland, who's going to run it up. Past the 25, and pretty good return out to the 28. So, Kirk Cousins coming out now, trying to match. And it all comes back to that dropped pass. Cousins was right on the money. 
but the receiver just couldn't catch it and that is what really cost the Redskins in several games last season. Cousins to P. Ryan. And P. Ryan's got his own little hole. He's got 12 yards on the pickup on first and 10. And Cousins was up there with him. I like to see that. Look at that. Didn't really get any blocks, but I like him pushing up field and trying to make something happen. So clock running now, just under three and a half to play in the first half. Three receivers, Cousins in the shotgun. Samaje P. Ryan takes the ball and gets about two. So that brings up second and eight. And Washington will have to run at least one more play before the two-minute warning. Redskins rush to the line. Come out in the eye. And it's P. Ryan once again who stiffs, stiff arms the defender and turns a zero yard gain into two. Third and six coming up. And we're at two minutes, two minutes left in the first half. Washington has the ball, down four. Alright, we're back on the short side of the two. And third and six coming up for Washington. And this is a critical third down because right now the Redskins are sitting at one for three on third down. This is their fourth attempt. So one for four looks really bad. Two for four looks pretty good. Let's see if they can get the pretty good number. And they can't. And Dallas is going to take a timeout. It was only a gain of one. So Dallas will get the ball again. Fourth and five now. Washington's going to be forced to punt it away. And Dallas will have a shot here. Dallas can get the ball. If they can get the ball in the end zone, they get the ball to start the second half. So it could be 21-3 to three before Washington sees the ball again. its way and this kick sails out of bounds at the 26 so not the best kick definitely a Dallas kick and Prescott's gonna come out now number four one play touchdown so they should be pretty fresh and Washington now has to make sure that they don't allow Elliott to run free like that again which will open up the play action game and this is what Dallas can do if they have a running game Prescott can run some play action passes for big gains and it's just kind of a one-two punch as Redskins blitz and they run it with Elliott who's already over 100 yards on the day second and 11 coming up though Redskins showing blitz again. Prescott will throw. And he's got Jason Witten. And Witten's got space. Jason Witten can't stay on his feet, but it doesn't matter. He's got 42 yards on the pickup. That was Prescott's first throw of the game. And what a throw. Prescott's 
yards after catch. I mean, uh, Witten's yards after catch is just through the roof right now. And the Redskins just can't stop the Cowboys. Jason Garrett looks pretty energized after seeing that. Just a minute left in the second as Prescott is going to break huddle. But instead they'll call a timeout at 61 seconds left. Dallas in field goal range already up four. We'll see what they can do here on the other side of the timeout. And this is how the Dallas can win this game. If they can get a touchdown here, you get a touchdown on the other side of the half. They'll be up 21-3. And barring a Titans-like comeback, Washington will be definitely in trouble and lose this one. It's win or go home, so very important for Washington to figure something out right now or at the very least at halftime three wide Prescott in the shotgun Prescott runs up the gut himself and gets about two so second and eight clock running Dallas only has one timeout now since they took that timeout so they should try and safeguard that until the last possible second They rush to the line, four wide. Prescott in the shotgun. Elliott to his left. Prescott takes the ball himself again and slides down for the. But he's got enough yardage for the first. Three rushes for 22 yards so far for number four. And once again, Redskins are playing deep zone and Dallas is going to take a timeout with 16 seconds left looks like they'll just settle forward the field goal attempt well with 16 seconds left you could maybe take a shot or two at the end zone but from the 19 it's not very easy to get a 20 yard touchdown when you have 19 yards to do it in. And when Washington will be expecting the pass, they just need to keep the ball in bounds and good chance that the Cowboys don't get the spike off. We'll see what they do here. Prescott's still on the field. But they'll settle for the kick. Trying to make it a Seven point game. And the kick, kick is good. Dan Bailey nails it. So Washington falls behind seven now. And Cousins warming up now even though he probably won't use his arm here before halftime. They'll probably just come out and kneel it or maybe maybe a screen at the very most, but I wouldn't expect much more. A kneel more than likely, unless Washington can get a great return here. Breland's trying to make something happen as he psychs himself up, kicks away. Caught at the f oh, Harris picks up the ball that was dropped. Muff kick. And Washington brings it up to the 22. So crisis averted. Washington will take a knee here most likely.
they'll run a play here actually. Nine seconds. It's a handoff to P. Ryan. He gets knocked down, and that should take us to halftime. And we're at halftime. Cowboys lead seven. They get the ball to start the second half. And in Mad Madness, there is no halftime. We get right back to the action. Washington down seven. We'll kick it away. And Dallas has a good chance here to deliver not the knockout punch, but something very close to it. If they can get seven here, take some time off the clock, and stop Washington with a three and out or so, they can definitely put themselves in prime position to win this thing. But they need a touchdown first as it kicks away and caught by Switzer, who's passed the 20 and the 25. Tackle down at the 27, but there's a flag down on the tackle. I think it's a face mask. And that's not how Washington wanted to start this second half. The Washington needs a three and out here. Or at least a stoppage before a score. And that makes it much, diff much more difficult. It's basically a first down and a half. Dallas has gained more than twice as many yards on offense as the Redskins as they come out to start the second half. And they hand to Elliott up the gut, and Elliott's got space. Near the first, it is a first. Elliott's over 100 yards on five attempts, averaging 22 yards. 22 yards per carry. And Elliott's had some games in his life, but this one's per got to rank pretty high up there. Redskins showing blitz. Redskins will blitz. Prescott rolls to his left. And gets away. Runs for another first down with his legs. So Prescott only thrown one pass so far in this game. Is up seven and the Cowboys are marching. Second and in inches they'll call it. And Dallas is on the edge of field goal range. If not, just slightly in it. Redskins showing blitz again, Witten in motion. Prescott fakes the handoff, rolls to his right, and hits Elliott, who dies for the ball, makes the catch, and it's enough for the first. And he was alone in the backfield, and I mean alone. He had his own zip code. And that's what happens when Elliott and Prescott can make stuff happen with their legs. And then they go to a play-action pass. Prescott under center in the eye. Prescott to Elliott. And Elliott has a remarkably pedestrian run after his string of dominance so far. It's only a gain of three. So, Dallas, unperturbed, goes back into the eye. But Prescott will throw this time. Prescott, it's Dez. And it's complete at the 21. And it's good for a first. I believe that's Dez's first catch of the game. It is. 
It's good for 13. And so Dallas is doing everything they needed to do. They've run off three and a half minutes. And they're in no hurry to snap this. Hands it off to Alfred Morris, who's got his first good run of the game. Gain of eight. Out to the 13. Second and one, they'll call it. It'll be a very long one. But second and one from the 13. Dallas can take a shot at the end zone if they wish. Or they can continue pounding away and just chewing that clock. And this is almost what you expect from the team that beat the Super Bowl champs in round one. Prescott in the eye. Prescott to Elliott, who's got the first and a little bit more. Call it a gain of five. That moves the chains, and it's goal to go now. The Cowboys have only had one third down attempt in this game, so... They're not even getting down to third. They're getting the, the conversions on first and second down, which is not good news for Washington, who's already down seven. And probably will be down more after the Cowboys are done here. Blitz from the Redskins. And Elliott chugs forward. It's not a tackle for loss. It's a tackle for no gain. As second and goal comes up. And that was a pretty big stop on second or on first and goal from the eight. Because if they can get an incompletion here or a similar run, this, uh, Dak Prescott will have to throw. Redskins blitzing again. It's Morris. And that's not what Washington wanted. They gave up five. Third and goal coming up. So from the three... Normally it's more likely a passing down, but with Elliott in the mix and the game he's having so far, I wouldn't be surprised to see him run it here. Redskins expecting run. Flag pre-snap. Who's this against? And that's a break that Washington definitely needed. It erases that five-yard pickup by Morris and makes it a third and goal from the eight. So it'll be up to Prescott now in an obvious passing situation, his first of the game. And this is only the Cowboys' second third down attempt of the game, but they haven't converted yet on third. Coincidentally enough. Prescott. Rose, he's got Williams, but he stopped short. On the one. It's got to be the the one-inch line. I mean, how, <laughs> how much closer can you get? And Washington is able to survive this possession, only giving up three on a drive in which Dallas only faced one-third down. The field goal attempt will come on the other side of the break here as we reach the end of the third. Dallas up 7, trying to make it up 10 after this. Alright, we're back now to see this 4th and 1. Number 4 is still on the field. We'll see if they actually try and go for this or if they just settle for 3. If they settle for 3, it becomes a 2 possession game. And they will. Dan Bailey out to kick. And the critical field. Bailey nails it. Chip shot is good. And that's got to be frustrating for the offense. But three points makes it a two possession game. So 13 to 3 now as Washington tries to make it a one score game. They can do it with either a touchdown or a field goal. Although if they only get a field goal, it becomes that much more difficult to match the Cowboys.
Bailey kicks it away. And it's caught by Breland. He's going to run it out past the 20. And he's going to stumble forward to the 26. So a good decision on that run. And Washington down two scores, but they have time. They need three points or better here, though. So Dallas with 228 yards of offense will have to hold Washington who has struggled on offense so far in this game. And they continue to struggle. Irving sacks Cousins. It's a loss of six on the play. And it brings up second and very long. Irving was just able to split the double team. I don't know what else he can do. That's one of the big problems of the Redskins right now is their line is pretty rough. So second and 16 now as Cousins rushes to the line. Cousins fakes the handoff and he's going to throw here. He's got time. He throws deep. He's got Doxson again. Both big plays have been caught by Doxson. And that moves the chains. Brings the, And it brings the Redskins near midfield. Another diving catch. And Gruden's got to be pretty happy. Just under six to play. Washington is driving, and that was their second biggest throw of the game. Cousins. Time. Surveys. And he's too slow. He gets sacked by Crawford. It's a loss of seven, and second and 16 was overcome on that last series, but now it's second and 17. And Cousins got to feel his timer go off, and he's got to he's got to move. That's not gonna cut it. You can't get into second and sixteens and expect to beat this team. Five minutes left now. Washington breaks huddle and three wide. Cousins steps up, dumps it off to Paul, who gets maybe a couple yards, maybe one. Now it's a third and 16, and this is the Redskins' fifth attempt of the game. They're one for five, so or one for four so far. In their matchup against the Giants, they were two for five, so we'll see if they can match their old num their numbers from their last game. Cousins fakes the handoff. And he's brought down again. It's Woods. And that's going to bring up fourth down. And now Washington is in deep doo-doo. They're going to go for this thing. Fourth and 22, four minutes left. So this could possibly be the game. Cousins. Deep shot. And it's intercepted. It's a Wouzier.
And that was basically a punt. That's a good way to think about it. The ball was just a little bit overthrown. And Prescott's going to come out now in the driver's seat. That interception was a kind of a mistake because if he had just batted down, they would be in field goal range right now. But instead, they're on the other side of the 50. Still pretty good field position as Prescott's going to lean now on Elliott. No, he won't. He'll pass, and he'll depend on himself. Gets five on the run. Second and five coming up. And Washington needs a three and out here desperately. It'll be, if they can get three and out here, it'll be maybe two and a half minutes left when they get the ball or so. No, it'll be close to the two minute warning. Prescott throws on the run and he's got Williams. And that was a huge connection. Prescott's 100% on the day, 5 for 5. And that could be a dagger. Prescott to Elliott, and Elliott's got a hole, but he's tackled from behind after a five-yard gain, and that'll bring up one more second and five. Dallas pretty comfortably inside field goal range now, and they'll take this thing down to the two-minute warning. All right, two minutes left. Dallas has the ball and the lead. Trying to put the finishing touches on this. We'll take a look and see if they can after this. All right, we're back. Cowboys Redskins. Dallas leads 13 to three. And just trying to run out the clock now. They're in field goal range. So at the very least, it should be 16 to three, unless Washington can get a sack here and hold them. Three receivers, Prescott, Elliott. Elliott gets close, and Washington's forced to take a timeout. Third and two coming up after this. And if the Cowboys can't convert here, there's a good chance that they won't in this game be able to convert on third down. Very strange. Very, very strange. But this is the easiest third down of the game, so th things are stacked on Dallas's side. Let's see if Washington can make a play. Prescott to Elliott, and Elliott's got a first and a heck of a lot more. Maybe 10 extra. Ball comes out to the tw or to the 19, and Redskins are forced to take a timeout. So I feel like they were. That was the last thing the Cowboys were struggling to do. Get that third down conversion. They were able to, and now it feels like they've just kind of put the finishing touches. The pretty bow on top, as they say. As number four tries to talk to his guys. Oh, 
Prescott breaks huddle and comes out alone in the backfield. What is this about? Very aggressive here. Prescott dumps it off to Witten. And Witten chugs forward. Wow. It was going to be a five yard gain. It's 10 instead. And everything's just going Dallas's way. Redskins use their last time out. Down 10. Cowboys goal to go. Now first and goal from the nine. Scott breaks huddle. Just under two minutes left in this one as the Cowboys are trying to salt this one away. And there's a flag down. Washington was too aggressive. It's Terrell McLean. Still first down. So now, first and goal from the four. Washington's got to hope for a turnover. They need a turnover, touchdown, or field goal technically. And then they need an onside kick conversion. Pretty tall series of events required, especially after how the Redskins have struggled on defense this entire game. But it's the NFL, right? Anything can happen. Prescott, throw, and he's got Hanna. Prescott has not missed a throw yet. Seven for seven, and that one is good for three. But that will continue to run the clock. Look at that, if he ran his route a little bit deeper, That'd be a touchdown. Prescott under center. Hands to Elliott. And Elliott's blown up. His first bad run of the game, I would say. His first tackle for a loss, definitely. And that forces third and goal, so... The Redskins are probably, well, by the, at this point, they are. They're going to lose this game. And that just might, this, this last goal line stand might be Washington's saving grace, I guess. Something they try and take into next season. And they will stop them. So Dallas will just take the knee and get out of here. Since it's official now we'll take a look at so Dallas in the upper right hand corner advances and they'll take on the winner of the next game which is Seahawks and 49ers so that game will be up next stay tuned for that as the Cowboys now take the W they win 13 to 3 So there we have it. The Cowboys win 13 to three and they get to move on to the next round. So was your prediction right? Let us know in the comments. If you wanna see the Cowboys in their next game, be sure to subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it. And until next time, this is Phantom Roy saying, have a good one.